<laughs> All right. Assignment. TM100. One of the variables. Um, interest. I am a ex college football basketball player. Um, my hobbies include playing with my children, which I have a 17 year old, an 8 year old, and a 6 year old. And probably one of the most interesting things I should probably share with the class is all three of my children are on the autism spectrum. My 17 and 6 year old are much more on the high functioning Asperger's. My 8 year old is completely nonverbal. So next question says what type of ventures are you most interested in working on? Um, well, the whole reason for wanting to go back to school was I've been out of college for over 15 years and I was studying marketing and uh, I dropped out during my junior year due to I began making a healthy amount of money at a very young age and it was very hard to return to school as the money kept growing. Um, as I aged and my priorities shifted, um, my interests shifted as well, especially once my eight-year-old was diagnosed at the age of three with, um, with autism. He's the first one to actually be offici officially uh, diagnosed. It was very life-changing. Uh, priorities started shifting in my life about what was important. Um, when after doing research and finding out that um, autism was one of the largest epidemics in the, in the U.S., and one of the least funded, it, um, it spawned a new desire to create change. So um, me and my wife decided that why not create a nonprofit to support autism so that we can be part of the of the solution and not the problem. Or just sit back and watch. You know, I have a, a quote on my arm as a tattoo that says the best way to predict the future is to create it. And I truly believe that. Um, so that's kind of the reason why. Um, chose to get into this um, focus entrepreneurship and business management um, uh, an entrepreneur that I admire I got the pleasure to build a relationship with and get to know very well was a gentleman by the name of Mark Mastroff he is the gentleman that invented 24-hour fitness um, growing up in the Bay Area even though he had 440 locations in 23 states, there was, um, I think I was very fortunate that the actual owner was um, actually in my home state, California, and also in the Bay Area where I grew up. So I ended up, um, due to performance, to performing at a high level, ended up um, gaining a great relationship with this person and um, I was very intrigued by what he was able to accomplish from just borrowing 20 grand from his grandmother in 1983 and then in 2006 or 7 selling 24 Fitness for the largest sale in U.S. history which was 1.6 billion dollars that's pretty impressive and all from wanting to create a business model around having everybody have the opportunity to make fitness a way of life by being open 24 hours a day. It had never been done at the time and he, and, uh, he envisioned it be becoming and making a reality. And uh, he also introduced the fitness world to 
electronic fund transfer, which is EFT. That's how you get billed without having to come in. Just get a bill, come out of your account every, every month. Pretty ingenious. So, in, in closing, um, I think the mission from this class is to learn to run a business from behind a computer and create more time and opportunities for me and my wife to spend with our children and focusing on developing and being part of the the why behind autism and the solution. And I think that's gonna allow us to move forward and make life become more fulfilling. I think when you have a sense of purpose and you know that your work, your life's work has a much bigger meaning than yourself, it feels like you're making a difference in your society. So um, that is where I am and I appreciate uh, you guys giving me my chance to uh, share with you. Take care.